Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I finally have the Marvel Legends Nemesis Build-A-Figure complete. First off, let me just get a uh, ruler up to him. Uh, to the very tip of his helmet, it's about five and a half. I'm retarded. <laughs> that was upside down. Um, just under eight inches. So, definitely on the small side, but I don't know. What are you going to do, huh? <clears throat> now to the figure. Um, first off, the translucent, as you can see, you probably see like the light shining through. You can see my shadow on my hand. Uh, the translucency of it is really nice. I like that. And I've, I've got a thing for translucent figures anyway. But uh, it's got this really like cool, I don't know what they did with the red dots, but they look really awesome. I don't know why, like, how they did it just looks really cool. Um, you know, I don't know too much about Nemesis. I really, to tell you the truth, don't know anything uh, other than the look of him. I think he was from the uh, Age of Apocalypse. And then they later kind of integrated him into some other stuff. But uh, <clears throat> not too much that I know about him. Uh, I've heard... I'm not positive, but I think he does go by Holocaust in the comics, and they changed it to Nemesis, or this, or something that this is his Holocaust form, and he turns into Nemesis. So I'm not really sure, but uh, he does have this cool hood, and you really want to be careful with this thing. I was really worried about putting it in, about breaking the little hinges. They're very thin, and they break all the time. Like everybody's breaks. So I was lucky enough to not have mine break yet. Hopefully it doesn't. It's got this really cool uh, skeleton, which I think is removable. It just kind of sits on this little pedestal. But uh, right now it's rubber banded in, so it's not going to come off. But I think you could probably just cut the rubber band and you know take it off. <clears throat> but a pretty nice figure. Uh, and he's got this pretty cool like football armor up here. But uh, he has a ball jointed shoulder with a split at the upper bicep, a single jointed elbow, and a ball jointed uh, wrist with just a fist there. And on the other hand, is the same. He just doesn't have any wrist articulation. And he's got this big, like, flaming fist, which is pretty sweet. And then he has a pretty nice ball jointed. Uh, torso which goes down quite a bit. It looks really nice. The only thing is kind of weird like he's got this really skinny waist so his upper body is really large and it just kind of gets smaller <clears throat> but it's not too bad. And he's got some uh, pretty nice ball joints there on his hips and a single jointed knee and a back and forward pivot on the foot. No side to side pivots. But, uh, you know, could have been bigger, could have had a little more articulation, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. But really not that bad, you know? No complaints by me. So, pretty decent figure. So, Nemesis, thanks for checking them out.